Hello there guys. Yesterday I uploaded a video talking about JST token, explaining exactly how you can sell. Now in order to do that, you have to have JET in your wallet. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but there is a link to that video in the description if you need to know how to sell your JST. What I wanna talk about on this video is the farm. Now, I added some cake in the farm and I was farming JET V2 tokens without any issue. I also removed my cake, so I unstaked it. I staked my JST and I removed it, I had no problems. But a lot of people contacted me saying that they couldn't unstake their cake and they were getting an error message. Now I understand what that error message is. It means that something in the code is preventing them from doing this. I have tried to look at the code on the farm, but it is not verified, so we cannot see that code, which is in itself a very big red flag. Now to try and test and replicate the problems other people are having, I have staked cake on another wallet and it got trapped. So this wallet that I'm logged into now, this is trapped. I cannot unstake my cake or my JST from the farm. Now that means that although I'm still farming Jet V2, when in two weeks time I can use that Jet V2 to sell my JST, my JST is staked and I cannot remove it. So I have contacted the admins of the group on this issue. They have read my message but not yet replied. My initial message to them got kind of a default reply and then I sent them a message with a lot more detail as to what the problem was. They've read the message, they have not replied to it. Another very big red flag. So I am saying that until they sort out this issue and address it and fix it and acknowledge it on their public channels, assume that this is deliberate and assume that this is a scam. And if it is, and they are planning on running away with all the money that's in the farm, it is worth an absolute fortune, like millions, tens of millions of dollars. It's worth a fortune. None of them are doxxed and they can walk away with this money. So I wanna show you something to save you losing any more money. If you try and remove your cake, and when you try to unstake, this is the error message that you see. This red box here saying, we were unable to estimate the gas, there might be an error in the contract, this transaction may fail. And it says, I want to proceed anyway. Now it is possible to press, I want to proceed anyway, and it will try and do the transaction. I guarantee you 100% it will still fail, but it will take about 0.3 BNB off you in gas. So don't do that. It definitely will still fail and it will take your gas. Now there are situations where you might want to do this try anyway. I've done it myself on my own code. And if you try, it will fail, but then you can get an error message, which enables you to find out why the code has the problem and you can go and correct it. But in this particular situation, the contract itself is not verified. So even if you did get an error message, it's not gonna do you any good. Uh, and it's only something that the actual developers can deal with. So it does seem that some wallets quite randomly are being blocked. So who knows? Maybe some random wallets are being blacklisted in that contract. It's not verified, we can't see. Maybe it's if you stake over a certain amount, we simply don't know. It could be an error. It could be a mistake. Now, personally, as developer, I don't believe that is very likely that some work and some don't, but it could be an error. I would suggest that's not the case. I would suggest that it's not an error it's deliberate and they absolutely know that some wallets are being trapped and those people cannot remove their tokens. However, keep watching because there is some very important stuff coming up. So as you see, I can't remove my cake and I also cannot remove uh, my JST, which is also staked. So if I try to unstake this, you'll also see the same error. So I can't unstake this to be able to actually sell it. Uh, so if I go into my, um, let's jump into here. I mean, the price has gone absolutely crazy. So you can't see my JST on this wallet because it's all state. I don't hold any of it. But you can see my wallet buys and you can see it would be worth $403,000, which is just stupid. It's not. It was a $116 buy. 
it is state, I can't remove it, I can't sell any. So the really, really important thing, when you gave permission for the farm to be able to use your tokens, uh, for instance, when you went in here and you selected one of these, you had to click approve. So let's say, for example, that you were going to farm BUSD. So if you select that, you need to click on the approve button and approve that in your wallet. If you've done this, you have given this farm permission to spend an unlimited amount of your BUSD or cake or JetB2 or whatever it might be. So in this particular case, I've given this farm the ability to spend as much cake as they want to spend from my wallet. So if this is a scam, which it is very much looking like it might be, obviously I want to revoke that permission because at any point in the future, if I'm holding cake in my wallet, they can just take it. Now that is exactly what Elon Farms did about a year ago. Any token that you'd given them permission to spend, they just wiped that token out of everybody's wallet, the website disappeared, and they disappeared with a huge amount of money. Now this is orders of magnitude bigger than that was. There, there is an astonishing amount of money that is in this farm. I'm not saying that they're definitely gonna walk away with it, but they certainly could. So if you want to evoke access, you go over to this website, it's app.unrect.net, so a -p dot u n r e k t dot n e t. I'll leave a link in the description. You can connect your wallet to this uh, this website. I've connected mine. I've used this several times in the past, and I know other developers that use it as well. So I do trust this website. Once you connect your wallet, it will show you uh, what has permission to be able to spend tokens from your wallet. So on this particular wallet. This address right here, which is the factory of the um, uh, the factory that's being used on the JST token, that contract has permission to be able to spend an unlimited amount of my cake, an unlimited amount of my JST, and that's gone through twice. So, oh, this is pancake. So that's uh, pancake swap has permission to use my JST, which makes sense because if I want to sell my JST, I have to give pancake swap permission to use it. But these two are the factory. So in order to revoke this, uh, you click on the revoke button. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. <laughs> no, ignore that. Um, I just need to reject these transactions because they were still sitting on my wallet. So let's get rid of those. So to revoke this, click on the button. It costs you about eight cent, uh, exactly eight cents and click on confirm and this will stop the farm from being able to access any more cake or one inch or wrapped BNB or whatever it might be from your wallet. So without doing this, whatever token you have connected, if they are scammers, then they will be able to remove all of those tokens from your wallet in the future. If they're not scammers, it's not really something you wanna worry about, but I would err on the side of caution and I would revoke the access uh, for them on this. I wonder if that will have changed anything. Let's see if miraculously we can now remove our cake. I very much doubt it, but I would, I would love to get my 225 cake back. Uh, so I'd need to approve again, as you can see. So let's approve again and see if anything changes. Oh, this would be amazing. If we've stumbled upon a way to be able to get our cake out, this would be amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was thinking it might work. I might not be blocked, but I am still blocked, as you can see. So I cannot uh, recover my cake. I've, I've once again given them unlimited access to all of my cake in future, which I don't want them to have. So I'll pop back over to here and I will revoke access again. So there we go. So if I add any more cake to this wallet, which is not very likely, I don't, spend, uh, I don't tend to use cake, uh, it does mean that I'm um, not giving them permission to spend it. So I'll refresh this and you can see the, the approvers come back here, which confirms that I have denied them uh, approval. So I'm not saying it's definitely a scam, but I am saying be very careful. People are putting tokens into their farm and these tokens are getting trapped. So far, 
as far as I'm aware, no uh, member of the team has officially acknowledged that this is happening. They haven't said, yes, we're aware of it, it's a problem, we're fixing it. There's been nothing whatsoever from the Jump N or JST team that's acknowledging that this is going on, which for me is another red flag. They've read my messages about this, so they have seen them, but they haven't replied to it. So this makes me feel that this token is more than likely a scam and any tokens that are connected to the farm, if you can't unstake them, there's a very good chance that you're not going to get them back and they're going to go missing. And collectively, that's an astonishing amount of money. So all that aside, if you just want to sell your JST token and get out as much as you can, then go and watch the other video because it explains exactly how you can do that. Cheers guys, take care, bye bye.